Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Taif and today we will discuss chapter number one matrices and it is the lecture three of this chapter. So starting with the determinant of a matrix. Determinant of a matrix is always taken of a square matrix and it is a unique real number that represents the whole matrix and it is denoted by different ways or we can write it in mod of a matrix A or B or C that is given or we can write it as DET of A determinant means determinant of A and it is given by a definite rule that is we will multiply the diagonal elements having a negative sign in between them then we by this way we can find the determinant of a matrix we can ex further explain with the help of example that is given that we have a matrix B now we can see that the order of a matrix is 2 by 2 it means is that it is a square matrix so we can find the determinant of this matrix by cross multiplying the diagonal elements with each other and having a negative sign in between them so we will multiply 4 with 8 and 6 with 3 so 4 multiplied 8 makes 32 and 6 multiplied 3 makes 18 so 32 minus 18 is equals to 14 so this is the determinant of a matrix B next we have singular and non-singular matrix singular matrix a matrix let's suppose we have a matrix a a square matrix a then it is called singular if the determinant of a matrix is zero and it is called non-singular if a matrix determinant of a matrix is not equals to zero we will explain with the help of example let's suppose we have given example for matrix a square matrix a that is equals to 3 12 2 and 8 so determinant of a matrix we will first take the determinant of a matrix if the answer is 0 then it means that the square matrix A is singular matrix if it is not equal to 0 then it means that it is non singular matrix so we can see that in the given example we have answer the determinant of a matrix is 0 it means it is a singular matrix next we have another example that is 8 uh, the matrix let's suppose a is equals to a 2 4 and 3 so we will cross multiply the matrix uh, the diagonal elements if the answer is not equals to 0 we as we can see here the answer is 16 that is not equals to 0 so we can say that a is a non singular matrix next is how we can find the adjoint of a matrix the adjoint of a matrix ko hum kaise find karenge the adjoint actually kya hota hai ki first diagonal ke elements ko hum replace karte hain ek dusre ki इंटरचेंज करते हैं उसको और जो सेकंड डायगोनल होती है आपके पास उसकी जो है हम साइंस को चेंज करते हैं अगर साइंस आपके पास नेगेटिव है तो उसको हम पॉजिटिव में चेंज करते हैं अगर पॉजिटिव है तो उसको नेगेटिव करते हैं सो अ जॉइंट ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स कैन बी फाइंड बाय चेंजिंग द इंटरचेंजिंग द पोजीशंस ऑफ द मेन डायगोनल एलिमेंट्स एंड चेंजिंग द साइंस ऑफ द सेकंड डायगोनल सो वी कैन फाइंड अ जॉइंट ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स बाय दिस वे but it can be a joint of a matrix of 2 cross 2 matrix can be found by this method and the joint of a 3 cross 3 or more than uh, this can be found with the help of cofactors now how we can find inverse of a non singular matrix so for this let's suppose we have a square matrix that is equals to a b c d so we will use the following formula for finding the inverse of a non singular matrix that is a inverse is equals to 1 by determinant of a adjoint of a we will explain with the help of example that is a matrix a is equals to 4 1 3 1 so first of all we have to find the determinant of a matrix a if that is not equal to 0 means it is a non singular matrix then we can find the a inverse so as we can see that the determinant of a matrix that is equals to 1 not equals to 0 so a is a non singular matrix so we can find the a inverse now we can find the adjoint of a matrix so adjoint of a matrix we will interchange the places of the main diagonal and we will change the signs of the second diagonal so as we can see that we have find a determinant and adjoint so we can simply put in the formula of a inverse is equals to 1 by determinant adjoint of a so we will have there is a inverse that is a matrix 1 minus 1 minus 3 and 4 and we have to remember that a matrix if a matrix is multiplied with its inverse then we will have identity matrix and similarly 
one thing that commutative property with respect to multiplication does not hold in matrices generally we can have some few examples but in general commutative property with respect to multiplication does not hold in matrices thank you so much